Now, uh, breaking news in the last few hours, Jeremy Renner has appeared on Jimmy Kimmel's show overnight. Um, Ross is in LA with the latest. I mean, this is remarkable that he's up and about. He's walking into the studio. It's incredible, Ross. It really is absolutely incredible. As I said, we don't need to ever ask which Avenda is the toughest of them all. Jeremy Renner, I mean, this is such an amazing story. Very quickly, we think back to New Year when he was run over by his own snowplow. Just, we thought it was going to be like a couple of years before he even recovered. And look at this, walking out onto the set of Jimmy Kimmel Live. He just had one walking stick. He did a little kind of dance thing at the end as well. Obviously getting a standing ovation. Big grin in his face. It was a great interview. He was lively. He was funny. Uh, there was a couple of other funny moments as well. He talked about one of his pals, Paul Rudd, great funny actor as well, sending him a message. Like it was one of those cameo messages, you know, the, the charity type things or a shout out to a fan calling him Jerry and just saying, next time, just wait for the snow to melt. Uh, it's unbelievable what he's gone through and it's unbelievable how he's recovered. Here's a little bit of the interview. Absolutely incredible story, Ross. Um, now, we spoke about it yesterday, and fans are still talking about Taylor Swift's love split. Yeah, with Joe Alwyn, uh, they were together for six years. It does seem to be that they have split. There's no official confirmation, as I mentioned yesterday. Uh, I don't think they ever will say exactly that they officially have split. They were always very private uh, about things. Uh, of course, fans and the Swifties absolutely picking apart absolutely everything. And they do that because Taylor does tend to leave a lot of Easter eggs and videos and songs. Uh, they've suggested that she may even have left a clue in the music video for Lavender Hayes as she lights a match at 48 seconds. Fans have said that represents the 8th of April. Out here we do 4-8. Uh, is there going to be more to come than that? She's been switching out songs on a set list. She's on tour at the moment with this incredible tour, uh, Eras. Uh, she replaced the song Indivisible String with uh, uh, The One, which is going from a, a song of being together to a breakup song. And she's including songs like White Horse, Sad, Beautiful, Tragic. Fancy this as Taylor having heartbreak in her mind as well. Talk about her being, you know, getting visibly upset during a performance of Champagne Problems, which I watched again and I don't see her getting that upset. I think she's just in the song so obviously people reading so much into it as well you know but as we said she does love leaving little clues for her fans as well so um who knows who knows exactly well she's just throwing herself into her work now isn't she i can i can imagine a new album coming out off the back of all of this there's a lot of content again Absolutely. Spotted in Liverpool uh, over the weekend. She was there uh, recording a music video. Then she's back in New York. Then uh, we've got, as I said, the rest of this amazing tour coming up. Um, it's interesting. People magazine um, are talking about a source uh, said that Joe struggled with Taylor's level of fame and the attention from the public. Uh, well, she was incredibly famous when they first met six years ago. I don't know, maybe that came to a head. They're also saying that the pair remain friendly as well. It is always interesting with these magazines, especially people, that's the one they tend to go to. And normally when it says a source said, that's normally a friend. And when it says a friend said, that's normally the person. That's the clue. Oh. That's how the code works out here. <laughs> we now know then. <laughs> uh, so, Ross, Drew Barrymore, she's been sharing some of her beauty routine, or lack of. <laughs> well, yeah, she was shaving under her arms, and she hadn't done it for three months. And when she was doing it, she uh, shaved it on Instagram, and um, there was a little bit of a problem, an alarm went off. Not under her arms, though. <laughs> Phew, all the well that ends well, eh? <laughs> What a moment, what a Under moment. Alarm. Under alarm. <laughs> exactly that. Uh, Ross, Ryan Reynolds. Oh, I mean, he's in the papers every day at the minute. And it's always seems to be good news. I mean, Wrexham are doing very well. Incredible. Beat Notts County, top of the league. Rob McElhenney and him have now been made the freedom of Wrexham. Not surprising at all. Presented Sunday morning at Wrexham Guildhall. I'm not surprised about that at all. And... Um, he was actually talking about it all and just saying, God, oh, Rob was saying, I remember when, <laughs> when I thought football was boring. Here's what your man had to say. Very good. He, he obviously does love it. He is invested, mm. isn't he, to give him his dues. And they're doing really well. So well done, Ryan.